komiti sitin ya ye kan ho asemi won se eye sika eye gana de hie dia anko fuku bi afo mo nsase ye eni yebuse buzo mo ho nsam na sitin ni mu no ana owura eye venise owura ya medini medini baba tu simba cho ndi dina mre fini kaka sam george owura sam george akopiem e wo sitin na se ana se eye meeting no ase na omote ho eye meeting na na unu abusa kwashin ba kwa fam ne kwashin ba ko obebusa no abusa fo e se woni ye se meka che timi di eye meeting ne kura ba wiye na obusa kwashin ne so ana se police case ya bem na se ya che wo wa tuma ne sa na we ni wasa ko busa kwashin bi mo so busa ji ere boss ba ko bi ma bufu ba ai wasa ko busa ba ko bi ama se se ya ye kase ye de abanka ba agu eye boss ene ne cantant e de agu o munsa e de a kwashin o ko busa ye ukubusa se sika twetwiri bi eye 250000 bi a ekodi o munsam check insam ni ade ade e fa hen fa eno ho e na banka ba nyina akwa kopiem no ye nkotie insam a owura sam george e ebusa eye nsa4 mpanfo ebusa o mokwashia se se ya ye kasai ade a banka ba akwa kopiem no ye nkobusa ana se nkotie insam no mrasisi a the question i'm asking is my information says you raised about you received checks totaling about 250,000 Ghana cedis for sporting non sporting activities at the stadium Accra Sports Stadium specific Accra Sports Stadium in 2023 during the festive period 70,000 from Benetton Group then you had um, another 50,000 from Jesus and hindered interventions limited by guarantee group that same group paid another 35,000, another 24,090. So total about 250,000. Did you lodge this in your central, the, the NSA's central account where all lodgements are supposed to go ahead of it, or did it go into your original account in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, partly was lodged in Accra and the other in Kumasi. Why? Why do you raise revenue in Accra for an event in Accra and lodge it in, in, in a different account in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, the invoices we issue to this two um, Do you have an answer for the committee? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. So I'm listening. The committee would like to know why. So, like I said, Mr. Chairman, partly was lodged in Kumase. You've repeated that already. I'm asking was why. In Kumase. The Director General will explain why. The direct, but you are the accountant. Lodgements are made to you. So why is the Director General of the NSA supposed to explain what is your role? Is it because he directed... No, he's the spending officer. So no, lodgement of the checks is different from disbursement of the checks. On whose order or authority did you lodge checks made for Accra Sports Stadium into a Kumasi account? That's the director general. The director general, chairman, the accountant is informing the committee that the director general instructed him as chief accountant to lodge checks for programs in Accra, in Kumasi. Director General, is there a reason why you did that? And, and then you can do a follow-up answer because he said he went into spending. I only asked this best uh, lodgement. He said that you spent, you spent the money. Why did you move the money to Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, I'm not, I did not say he directed me to, to deposit the money in the Kumasi account. What I said is, part of the money was lodged in the Accra account, and the rest was lodged in the Kumasi account. Chief Accountant, respectfully, you are under oath. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are an elderly person. I, I have the greatest of respect for you. And, you and the, the committee is sitting here. If you want to withdraw what you said, because you, except you're saying I am lying, we're all sitting in this room. I asked you on whose authority did you lodge part of the payments into the Kumasi account? Your response to this committee under oath was the Director General. 
If you are withdrawing that, do so properly. I have not said otherwise. Okay. But you just contradicted so, yourself. Don't. Okay, then why, why did you lodge part of the check, some of the check in Accra and then some in Kumasi? Why? My understanding was earlier they made the deposit. Those first deposits were lodged in Accra. By who? By who? Who do the lodgement? Into the Accra. Who, yes, who did it? Who did the lodgement? Myself as a chief accountant. And then the other lodgement you did in Kumasi? The other lodgement was paid, was deposited in the Kumasi account. Yes. Not and, and my question is that why? The director general should be able to. Exactly. That's what you said. Yes, sir. Director general, chief accountant, uh, uh, chief accountant, I think that you have more information. But because your boss is here, you are reluctant. Please, don't respond. No, Mr. Chairman. That's my observation. That's my observation. You have more Mr. information. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman, like I said, partly was lodged in Accra. And the rest... We, we've heard that. I'm only saying that you have more information, but because your boss is here, your reluctant time to give us that information. Chairman, so can the DG, so, can the DG now answer why that was done? Yes. Yeah, thank you very, very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think I need to get this information to be very sure about payment because the head office manages all accounts of the authority, both region, head office, and everywhere. It's our hours. And obviously, if you look at the auditor's uh, uh, report, they, uh, they, they um, assess the re revenue across all the, the, the regions. Some are in our regional and some are in the head office. He's indicating to me that uh, some payments have been done, some entered the regional. It's something that easily can be traced. It easily can be traced. For example, head office, occasionally, when we are in need of support, we make requests from some of the regions that are able to generate enough revenue to assist us. We Direct, also Director General, do that is not the issue. Yes. The so issue until here, I have, I have listen, to, listen to me. Yes. The issue here is that the chief accountant is saying that uh, your directive, the checks that Honorable Sam George mentioned, you directed that some of those checks should be paid to the Kumasi account instead of the Greater Accra or the headquarters account. And the question for me is that why did you do that? What is the reason why you directed that some of those checks should be paid to Kumasi account? So don't tell us story. Just give us the reason why you that gave that directive. Honorable Chair, I think I, I, would, I wouldn't be very specific about the directive. I think it's in general. Where the accounts are not accessible. For example, I think the head office at some point, even um, I think the latter part of last year, had issues with the uh, Ganeshi. Uh, our accounts were blocked. I think you have all the copies of the letters. Ministry, uh, Chief Director is aware. Minister himself, I was even asking whether. And, and when, when, when the head of his accounts order, were, order. were garnished, it means that even if there is any payment, you can't do it into it. Well, you well, understand? Well, the well, only well, advice well, as the head of the entity will be that so long as payment is to be made to the authority, whatever available accounts can be utilized. Okay. Because okay, at, at the end of the day, you have answered the, have answered the question. The money, you have answered the question. Yes. Was there a the Greater Accra account, was that account garnished? The, the head of his account? Yes, was it garnished? No, the account on, of, on which, into which part of the check were paid. Was that account also garnished by the uh, Bank yeah, of Ghana? The, yes, the, the, the NSS uh, account which were with the, with the Bank of Ghana mm. were garnished. Yeah, but you didn't pay the check to that account. Did you pay the check to that account? Yes, so this check, check we are talking about, did you pay any of that, those checks? No, I wouldn't know. Account? I wouldn't know. But I'm saying that. Where these, where these... I also have details of the checks. Yes, but it can be. Where, where our particular account is unaccessible, definitely any one of them can be utilized. Uh, and that's why it is not going to uh, uh, for the or to, chief accountant's uh, accounts. No. 
I want to propose. You 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 asked your last question. The payment. But I want to propose that we'll make a recommendation. We cannot direct the Auditor General to go and do any audit. Per Article 1877 of the Constitution, we cannot direct the Auditor General, but we can make a recommendation. I want to make a recommendation, and which we we'll put in the report, that the Auditor General go and do a special audit of the Ghana uh, National Sports Authority. It's a recommendation. You can decide to to do it, no, but listening to what is happening here, I think the place is is, is in a mess. We need discussion a course. Time was some George Bush and a question in the year. No, we and I want to committee the chairman for chairman says, San Semi need the Akos with dear or Castle bit my dean, I can call for an old boy. Young four months share a police for answer. Now, you inform Munkugum, a year or ne a year accountant in that office is rotten. I mean, the authority is rotten. We are, Minister, we are directing that the regional director and the accountant at the region should be picked by the police. Thank you so much. It should be picked immediately by the police. Okay. Chairman, thank you. We'll take action. You are invited to appear before Parliament, a committee of Parliament. You refuse to attend. Knowing very well that you have squandered over 160,000 Ghana cities. And you think that will leave you scot free? Minister, can you do that? And then uh, let's get the feedback. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, action will be taken, and I'll, I'll communicate the same to you. Thank you very much. Because Omun said one more kekano in Sisiso, Anna and Tok Asumu. We mean in Agugano, we are from home religion for Krononkwa, or poor police, and what they want and call for air tis whom we free. Question by Kupini Buzano. What the young wines are scanned with the only young one who are ye the more chairman. Did you watch it in the tomb? But as the Ubusan say, if I hear you see here, when you master pa, and snow per calculator. So, on what the Sikana, or move on to you move away to solve the church of the church, and yes, I'm getwa. The Nimsi Achini say, a beckon as a museum and a dear to the old monkas or motetihuana. A cromfonqua will be a near brain or two cronos. The bus will be DC car, will be the end of a sum and a barb on ten more tea will be so deep under Ghana or ten pa. Women in Arctic Rumo and a jar more air bought Ghana abro and Yasam Ketua into the copium awo a year meeting and as a committee sitting as in so. And no, as you see, I can say, dear, a year man a accountant and a naquada, a CM for a banker, but in Guomasa no own call many. Hello, I was here for. So, we'll pass the features right here, do for the And then, I found what called them unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening, and we'll toothpaste is from Kwan. So, what did you choose? Say, and my was seen air fitter. Now, air fitter, no, so no. No, a G and carbony beer, we're no more Any tea stains, coffee stains, smoking stains, beer, we're no more Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in air free swam or come, come. The only answer is, we so. Na o de go o brush na so. O wi a na o de twetwe o sene so nyina. Come up. O wi a en wo ru anum gen wo num sa. Into contact Unique Laser Whitening at 079 Unique Laser Whitening or say muni ses.